There are some unique environmental issues associated with generating electricity and delivering it to homes and, and or businesses or commercial um, sectors. So the first has to do with how the electricity is generated and we had talked about uh, turbo generators and how many of them are steam driven and so in these steam driven uh, turbo generators once that steam is generated and it is used to power the turbine that spins around uh, to create electricity then that steam comes out of the back end of the system and it has to condense back down into cool into water so there's cooling towers and all kinds of um, the ways that we cool the water as it leaves the condenser. Whenever you see an electric power plant and you see a bunch of, of steam coming out of those, that's what you're seeing is those cooling towers. And really it's just it's just steam. So it looks worse than it actually is. Um, so some facilities, you know, they, they extract water from a stream or a river or a lake and they use it in their steam uh, turbo generators and so they heat it up and then when they put it back on the back end into the lake or river from which it was extracted it's warmer than when they took it out and as a result this leads to what we call thermal pollution um, and so some animals are only able to survive in waters of a certain temperature range and trout would be a good example of these trout really like cool water and so they can't live if the water gets too hot so thermal pollution can be very harmful to these creatures. Here's a picture of the cooling towers and that steam that you can see coming off of the cooling towers and it's it really is just water so it's not as bad as it looks. Of course when we combust fossil fuels in order to uh, produce the steam that's needed to power the turbine that generates electricity. Um, when, we, when we combust those, power, those fossil fuels, that emits a lot of atmospheric pollutants, which includes greenhouse gases and compounds that lead to ozone, acid rain, and also heavy metals. Um, if, if we talk about nuclear power, often nuclear power is considered to be an alternative energy because it does not emit uh, get greenhouse gases and so that is a really positive thing about nuclear energy however nuclear energy the the uranium turns into plutonium and plutonium stays around forever and so uh, nuclear power creates hazardous hazardous radioactive waste that that hangs around for a long time and continues to pollute our environment for many generations to come if it gets released from the drums it's stored or from the pan the ponds actually where it's stored. And then finally just the transmission of electricity from the source of where the electricity is generated to the consumer. Um, it's not a very efficient process and the power lines and substations do take up space so that you have to you have to clear the land, you have to build pads for each one of these lines, each one of these towers. You have to trim the trees so that they don't get in the way and damage the power lines. And then um, we talked about the fact that when electricity travels through these lines, it will create a magnetic field. Just like the reverse in a turbo generator, the magnetic field creates an electric current. And so this has a high a lot of electricity, a lot of current is flowing through these high transmission power lines and there is a magnetic field that surrounds them and some people are concerned about the impacts on human health and the jury's still kind of out as to how bad that is for you. Um, so we just don't know, I guess is the answer there.